Jennifer Rogers has turned her talents to the stage. She's directing Babes in Arms, which will play in an open engagement at the Music Hall Theater in Tarrytown, New York, beginning June 26th. Miss Rogers is in our studio now with Miss Smith. <laughs> Ginger, you know, we get all of the big ones on this show, but even <laughs> we know when we have got a really big one like you well, today. Thank you so much, Lady. 73 movies, an <laughs> Oscar for Kitty Foyle, heaven knows what else, and I saw you dancing last month with the Night of a Million Stars. Yes, a million stars it was. So you're still dancing, you oh, think? Oh, yes, naturally, but I love directing. Directing is such great fun, and this show is, uh, with all the music that Rogers and Hart gave us, what a delight to listen to those wonderful songs like uh, The Ladies of Tramp and Where or When and uh, uh, um, Johnny didn't, One Note. Didn't you move a couple of uh, wonderful songs into it from other shows? Yes, we did. Manhattan, we've got in the show. Right. And we've also got Mountain Greenery. And we've got some wonderful talent. And Randy Skinner and uh, Lisa Donovan and uh, Karen Ziemba, who is from the uh, uh, Gold Diggers Act. I started to say gold diggers. I meant Forty uh, Second Street and uh, Jimmy Brennan and um, oh, and you're going to terrific. open this where? In yes, at the Terrytown Theater, which, at the Terrytown Music Hall, which is a darling, wonderful '30s theater. Perfect it is theater for it. Wonderful um, acoustics, just great. And uh, <clears throat> I know that now you will demure and be shy and refined and not, not tell us anything, but isn't it true that this will probably come to Broadway if it gets I, good reviews? I, you know, that's something that none of us ever really know in, in, in any case, but I would certainly be so thrilled if it did because I think, I think it has such excellent talent and the songs. I mean, you go out singing the songs because you've known them since you were knee-high to a grasshopper. Yeah, seven great songs, seven great ten. songs. That, well, ten. I've just... Ten. ten. Got, mm -hmm. ten yeah. great songs that we wouldn't see the like of ever again and probably That's in our absolutely life. absolutely true. And it hasn't... You know, it was originated in 1937. Rogers and Hart produced it here in New York, of course, on Broadway, and it hasn't uh, really done anything special since then. Yeah, I believe for, this is the first major revival yes, in about, yes. what, 47 years That's or right, something, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. What is the special quality that it was required from you to move from being one of the world's biggest, greatest stars, let's see, You're 73 movies, Ginger, fantastic, uh, to direct? What do you have to do to change gears like that? Well, I've always wanted to direct, Liz. I've always wanted to be a director because I've always stood by and said, oh, if only they'd tell him to do so-and-so, and if only the director would tell me to do what I'm about to do anyway because he didn't tell me. So I realized that that would be great fun to be standing there and say, you know, what, what do you think you should do in this scene? Well, let's see you do it. No, I don't think it's as good as I thought. Okay, and then let's do something else. So it's, it's, a really, it's really fun to tell it's somebody a, how it to... It was natural for you. I found it quite natural. Mm -hmm. After being directed all your life. After being directed ever since I was knee high. To a well, isn't it true that your mother, who was such a wonderful woman and a great influence on your life, had, wasn't she a director? Or oh. No, she, well, she directed, you know, she was a newspaper woman first on the Fort Worth Record in Fort Worth, Texas, obviously. And then she went to, to the films in Hollywood and she wrote scenarios for Theodore Berra and a few others like that. And then she went to the Marine Corps, became one of the first ten women Marines. Then after that, she came back and later on, we, she ended up at RKO where I was put under contract and she had a theater of her own in which she had Lucille Ball and Tyrone Power and and Betty Grable, and I could do name Well, Betty, Betty Furness told me that. That's yes, how I that's do. right. Well, mm -hmm. look, we are looking forward, Ginger, to seeing this wonderful show, Babes in Arms, directed Please. by Ginger Rogers. Come and see us. Thank you, Liz, okay. so much. Dear. See you on Broadway, too. Okay. Oh, I hope so. Jack, right. Sue. Thanks, Bye, Liz. Liz. That's Live at Five for today. We thank you for watching, and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow. This has been Live at Five with Jack Cafferty and Sue Simmons. Tomorrow, our guests include Paul Sorvino.